Here's what we ended up with after the foam insulation was put around the pipes and then it was taped and then zip tied. Zip ties are mostly in the corners where the Propex fittings tend to spread out the foam. So I put a, a caulking in between all the gaps behind this. You can see that's the white stuff in the back. So if I go all the way out, you'll see the white caulking that fills up the gaps between the planks. Here's the part of the copper pipe that comes out from the cellar through the uh, joist and into the stud bay. You can see how it spreads open just a little bit because of the propess fitting beneath it. They have some larger diameters where there's a little ridge and at least I can get in there, you can see it. See how those fittings have kind of a bigger diameter right here versus this is smaller, so it kind of spreads it open a little bit. So even though the pipe is on there, it naturally wants to close up like it is, is up here. Because it's a bigger diameter, it spreads it. So I'm going to tape and zip tie that closed. Okay, the insulating noodles and 90 degrees that I built are installed and they're taped and zip tied. The both sides of the stud bays are, are, are uh, insulated and caulked to prevent any wind from coming in through those gaps. And the last stage now is to put some pink insulating sheet against the wall between the wall and the pipe. Okay, this is the pink house sheeting that Steve brought over. He had, this is the kind of material that goes against a house uh, before you put vinyl siding on. You can see how skinny it is. So what I did was I measured the width of the stud bay over there and I uh, went four inches beyond that on both sides. I, cu I cut it with, I think it was called, it's a wallpaper roll. It's kind of like a pizza roller with a serrated edge. So I uh, cut it, bent it, and taped it on the back. So now I have a air airtight corner as well. So I can put that right inside of the stud bay. Hopefully that's going to work. Let me uh, try it out, see if it fits over there. Well, if I'd have to say so, this actually fits pretty damn good. So what that's going to do is prevent, prevent another layer of protection from any uh, air leaks through the gaps. And I think that's going to work great. So I'm going to make some more of these so I can go all the way up. So that's just one piece. So I think if I make a second one, I might get pretty close to the top. I'm going to probably need four more of the, three more of these to finish up that cavity. So what I'm using to cut this foam is I draw a line and this, this little roller, it's like a pizza roller, but I, I'm pretty sure this is to cut wallpaper. I can't, I had this in my workbench. I thought it would work pretty good for that. So I just, I draw a line and I just kind of give it a, this is giving it like a crease or a serrated edge that I can bend it on. So I'm not pushing it all the way through. I'm just sort of scoring it with some light pressure right along this line. So hopefully that'll provide like a little parting. I'm going to go to bend it so have a nice straight parting line. So now I get it on the edge, edge of the workbench bend it down like that so that's a like a 90 so it'll fit inside of the cavity then what I do to, to seal up this edge is take a piece of duct tape tape it to the end of this and then all the way down to here and kind of get it half half on this foam cut it off with a razor blade best I can and make sure this is at the 90 that I want and roll the tape over so it'll hold the 90 and I've been, I was using two, two lengths of tape so I'm going to do the second one Cutting it at the uh, at the end here with a razor blade. Make sure it's staying at the 90. 
so it gives it a nice 90 degree angle. So if I turn it over, you can see that 90. And what I'll do is I'll make another score and bend this. this. This has to be from the outside edge of this bend to the other side, 13 and a half inches. <laughs> Okay, here's the finished product for the stud bays. As you can see, I've got the noodles on the copper pipes. I have them taped. I also have them zip tied. And then I cut this sheeting and this pink foam and put it in the bay. So now we won't have any air leaks coming from the outside to the inside. And I also was able to extend this up as far as I could. And I span that spot right there and in there as well. Steve's so going to put some cleats and he's going to reconnect where those gaps are so we can hold up the floor. Some of the floor planks were resting on top of that so he needs to resupport those.